Hello everybody, Average Joe Bourbon here tonight and we are going to do a fresh crack of Elijah Craig Single Barrel Private Barrel Select from Cox's Evergreen Liquors here in Louisville, Kentucky. It is a barrel proof and it's nine years. Uh, I love Elijah Craig. Uh, it's one of my favorite shelfers. Uh, if you haven't tried it or you want a, a good sipping bourbon while you're out, I love Elijah Craig. Uh, you can drink it any way from on the rocks to neat. Uh, oh wow, I guess it is Friday though. Uh, I'm excited to try this. It is, what's the barrel proof? 129.8. Uh, I love the barrel proof series uh, and uh, I'm glad that they're allowing private picks now of this. So I'm very interested in, in the taste of this. I instantly get a big smell of cherry like the pipe tobacco cherry. I, I smell just a hint of vanilla. Oh, a cherry right away. Mm. Man, that's got a good flavor. This is cherry dominated to me, very cherry. You get a little hint of the vanilla. It has a very big tingle uh, from the proof at the end of that tongue that stays on the front. It doesn't really burn, but tingles and just stays with cherry vanilla, cherry vanilla to me. Uh, I, I will say this, the nose and, and taste stay true to one another. Very good, it's very smooth. A little bit of a hug, not too much. And for 129, what was it, 129.8? It doesn't drink that. To me, that's a good barrel proof. If it, if it's a high proof, but doesn't really drink it and still has a nice zing and nice flavor, nice hug, to me, that's that's a, that's a good barrel proof. I think this is a good pick out. I, I do smell in the nose a little bit now of like a, some type of nut. Uh, kind of almond, it's, it's really, it's, it's a sweet, but Mm. Might have proofed up a little bit. Still cherry dominant to me at the end. But that got a whole lot more flow of a uh, little bit more vanilla, dark chocolate mixed with a. Uh, with, 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 I, I would say that's more of a. To me, it's more of an almond. It's not as sweet as pecan, but not as kind of coarse as almond. I, I, it's between those two. This is very good. Uh, all right, nose. Uh, Man, I tell you what, they did a great job. Evergreen, y'all did a great job. I really like this. Uh, nose was 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 walnut pecan. Uh, you had cherry dominant to me. A little bit of hint of vanilla. Uh, definitely the cherry tobacco smoke. So tobacco is definitely a, a smell in that as well. And a little bit of oak. Uh, so very complex nose. Very good nose. Uh, taste goes in right away. I'm gonna take one more chip, uh, sip before I, I do that one. Man, it comes in right away with a nice little little pop, uh, but it's more cherry. Comes back across the tongue. It's not that oily to me. It's a, it's a little drying, but not too bad, it's, but because it still has that long, long finish from the from the proof, I think. And uh, I get just lots and lots of cherry and vanilla at the end. But in that mid palate, man, you get a lot of different things. Each taste I've tasted a little bit different. The first time it was more cherry, and I think it was just because I haven't proofed. But then it turned into more vanilla with a mix between a almond and a pecan. I, I can't really tell what that is. Uh, it's a, you know, it might even be more of a, a macadamia because it's so sweet, but it just barely has the, the, the nut taste to it. So it's just a very sweet, very, very dessert type uh, bourbon. Uh, I, I, I really do like it. Uh, I want to taste a little bit of that on the rocks too. Uh, and what we'll do with the nose is narrow it down. I mean, guys, it was a beautiful nose, but it started with cherry, really, really robust. And, and that's really, to me, I'm gonna call this a cherry bomb because it, uh, it really starts from the nose to the taste and all goes there. So the nose was cherry, tobacco, um, oak, a little bit of like a, like I said, a maybe maybe a, a almond slash pecan. It just smells you know, like it had nuts in it. Uh, 
it is very good. Uh, and then the, the taste, again, it went in right away, cherry, come back across the mid palate change each time, which I like, which means to me it's kind of complex. Finish with cherry vanilla, cherry vanilla. So let's try it on the rocks. Hmm. You know, it evened it out was, I mean, <laughs> cherry, cherry popsicle. I mean, my goodness. Uh, whatever they did in this one, they like cherry. So uh, cherry bomb, I'm going to give it, man, I'm going to stick it three and a half. I'm going to stick it three and a half. Uh, doesn't go to dessert in a cup, very, very close. Uh, if it had more of your caramels and, and that kind of stuff in it, mixed with that cherry, definitely would have been a dessert in a cup. But uh Four, three and a half to me is a very strong, very good bourbon. Uh, and guys, I'm going to tell you right now, if you can get around barrel picks in, in your neighborhoods, wherever you live, and get these barrel picks, especially these barrel proof Elijah Craig's that are coming out, man, I would I would run, not walk to come get them. So definitely average Joe bourbon approved. Thank you, Evergreen Liquor Stores. You guys have a great Friday night. I hope everybody, everybody has fun tonight and has a good sip of bourbon. Cheers. Cheers.